Hello friends, I'm State Representative Jonathan Brostoff and it is our first edition of What's Up Wednesday, so welcome. Today we'll be discussing three bills and we'll start with 840. Uh, this is introduced by Representative Considine and it is for industrial hemp and it grants rulemaking authority and making an appropriation uh, for industrial hemp. This will create a state licensing process for the production of industrial hemp in Wisconsin. This is a great bill. I'm fully behind it. I think that uh, there's some great benefits for our farmers economically, and it's good for our state. So I will be supporting this. Next, we have Bill 886. Excuse me, 866. Uh, this is one Representative Kessler and I uh, worked on, and this bill will direct school boards to provide instruction on the history of the Hmong people in Wisconsin. Uh, this bill simply requires that as part of the uh, state requirement uh, for each school board to provide an instructional program designed to give pupils knowledge of state, national, and world history, that part of that history program should include a section on the Hmong experience. Uh, there's still a lot of misinformation and missing information about how the Hmong got here, um, how much they fought for our community, and what they went through to get over here. And I think it's really important that we help educate uh, that aspect of our experience, especially since Wisconsin has such a large Hmong population. Last but not least, we have 9-11 with Senator Vukmir Weingard and Representative Sanfilippo. This is a mandatory minimum bill which uh, takes powers away from the court and creates a mandatory minimum three-year incarceration period if the person who is prohibited from possessing a firearm violated that prohibition uh, while on uh, parole, extended supervision, uh, conditional release, etc., um, for the commission of part of a prior felony or vi violent misdemeanor. And the problem with mandatory minimums is that why have judges in the first place? You're taking away their discretion, and you're taking away their ability to understand the nuance and the complications that can go into every single individual case. And when you have such a broad-sweeping general bill like this, it really ties the hands of those who are on the front lines of our judicial system. I will not be supporting this bill, and I appreciate you uh, checking it out. Uh, for more bills and information, please see my website below. Today is Wednesday, and that's what's up.